Hi, my name is John Hallnagel, Doctor of Physical Therapy and Clinical Director at the JAG-1 Physical Therapy Clinic in NoHo, New York City. As a former collegiate athlete turned physical therapist who now treats baseball players of any age, I'm here to present the JAG-1 Baseball Rehab Series, where I'll discuss common injuries seen in these athletes, exercises and techniques to avoid injuries, and ways to stay healthy and on the field all season long. One of the most common sources of pain that I see in baseball players of any age is shoulder pain which is primarily due to the repetitive overhead throwing motion. The most important muscle group of the shoulder for baseball players to properly condition is called the rotator cuff. The rotator cuff is comprised of four muscles that allow the shoulder to rotate in space. For overhead athletes like baseball players, these muscles come under quite a bit of tension during the throwing motion. Therefore, it is vitally important to keep these muscles well conditioned throughout the season to stay on the field. So for this shoulder exercise, we're going to be working on one of those rotator cuff muscles. You're going to need a dumbbell and a towel lying on your side. My right arm is going to be the working arm here. Holding that towel in between your elbow, position the dumbbell down. This is the starting position. Squeezing in on that towel with your elbow, lifting the dumbbell up so you, that your forearm is nice and straight when it comes up and back down. Again, this exercise is called sideline external rotation. And you want to perform 10 repetitions. In this shoulder exercise, we'll be performing what's called a prone row with external rotation. So the starting position is going to be belly down with a dumbbell, hanging the arm up off the table. And what you want to think about is driving the elbow up so that it's even and level with the shoulder and then driving that dumbbell straight back and down. Driving the elbow up, nice and stable heel level with the shoulder, driving that dumbbell back into external rotation. and pick a weight you can perform at least 10 repetitions with. This shoulder exercise is called ITWs. It gets that name because your arms are actually positioned in those shapes of those letters. Starting position is gonna be belly down on a table, arms straight ahead, thumbs up. And you're gonna lift your arms with your elbow straight, straight up into an I, come out, arms down, T, down, bending the elbows into a W, up and down. And repeat, I, T, W. And performing at least 10 reps here. This shoulder exercise is called the serratus punch, named after a very important shoulder muscle called the serratus anterior, which helps stabilize the shoulder joint. Starting position, you're gonna need two dumbbells, back down, arms and elbows straight ahead, holding this position, and from this position, you wanna think about punching straight up, keeping your elbows straight. Punch up, back down punch up and back down. And what you should be feeling is your shoulder blades actually moving further apart from each other. Again, picking a weight you can perform at least 10 repetitions with. In this shoulder exercise, we're gonna be performing what's called a prone row. So you're gonna need a dumbbell for this exercise. The starting position is belly down on a table, hanging the working arm off and down the table. And what you wanna do in this position is think about driving that elbow back. 
and down. Drive the elbow back, squeeze, and back down. Again, picking a weight you can perform at least 10 repetitions with. So for this exercise, it's called wall angels. We're targeting the serratus anterior muscle and our rotator cuff muscles with this one. So you're gonna need a TheraBand wrapped in a circle. TheraBand goes around the wrist. You're pulling out onto the wall with the TheraBand and you wanna think about moving your shoulder blades out and apart from each other. Holding that position with tension in the band, slide the hands up the wall and back down. Again, maintaining that position with the shoulder blades and the tension in the TheraBand the entire time. For this exercise, perform two sets of 15 repetitions. So these next two shoulder exercises, we're gonna be working our rotator cuff muscles working internal rotation and external rotation in a 90-90 shoulder position, which is to mimic that overhand throwing motion. So first, let's start off with internal rotation on a cable cross. Starting in that 90-90 position, elbow is nice and parallel to the shoulder, dropping the palm straight down while trying to maintain that elbow in line with the shoulder. 10 reps here. We can drop the cable cross a little bit for external rotation. Again, starting position, elbow nice in line with the shoulder, pulling the weight straight back into external rotation, performing 10 repetitions. <laughs> 